Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and I'm going to show you how you can embed your forms into DV Builder. That means that any form that you have on Job Form, it's going to be available on your pages and on your posts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed your contact form on a page and how to embed a subscription form on a post. So let's get started. Okay, this is my job form dashboard, and we're going to get started by creating a new form. In this case, we're going to use a template for this, and we are going to use a contact form. So let's go into our contact forms, and we're going to select something simple like this one. Okay, so let's use this template. Here we go, and we can go ahead and edit the elements. We can go ahead and edit anything right here, delete, modify, whatever we like. But how are we going to embed this on Divi? Well, Let's go into publish. We're going to go into embed and embed. There is a source code section. Let's click on that. And this is the code that we are going to need. So let's go ahead and copy this and let's jump over to WordPress. OK, so this is a demo WordPress site that I have. And we're going to first embed this contact form in a page. So let's go into pages. Remember, I already have Divi themes installed, and that's what I'm using as the builder here in WordPress. So let's go into pages. Let's add a new page. And we'll just say test form. We're going to publish it first. You can go ahead and do it as draft if you like, but I'm going to do publish to go speed this up. Let's use Divi Builder. And we have three options here on Divi. We can start from scratch. So all we're going to do is from scratch, like we're going to add the form. We're going to add the elements and make it look nice. Or we can use a pre-made layout just like we use templates on job form. Well, it's kind of the same thing right here. So we're going to use choose a pre-made layout. And there's several templates available here. And in this case, I'm going to use something like home rentals. So I'm going to select this one. And there's several pages that I can use for templates. In this case, I'm going to use contact. So I'm going to use the contact one. I'm going to select it. I'm going to say use this layout. So let's wait for that to load. Yes, we want to import presets. And let's wait for that to load. OK, here we go. We have the template loaded in and it looks really nice. But we want to get rid of this contact. So we want to get rid of this section. We're going to add job form, which is more complete than what we have right here. So let's click on this great plus button and we're going to search for code. Let's go ahead and select it. And we're going to add our code right here. The, remember, this is the code that we grab from job form. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and hit this right there. And now we have the contact inside of here. So here we go. We have contact Jake and Kenny, for example, and we have this nice looking contact form that we can customize and drop form and have something more complex here. That's way more powerful and complete. Now with Divi, you have a lot of options. If you click on it, it's going to show you the code. If you click away, then we can work on it. So we have options to make this smaller, bigger, move it to sides. For example, go ahead and select this. I can bring it down lower. I can bring it higher. So depending what I want to do with this, I can add a background to this section if I like in design. And there's several things that we can do in Divi that makes it really interesting. For example, some shadow, shadow to the right. Maybe this section is not what we want to do. Maybe we want to do something else. But there's a lot of options here in Divi that we can use to customize this form. So that's for the contact form. That's how we're going to embed it. Now, if this is a post and we want to add at the end a subscription form, well, we can do that also. So let's go ahead and jump out of here. Let's go ahead and save and exit. OK, we're back here on our WordPress. We're going to go into post. We're going to go into add new post and we're going to name this test post. And again, in this case, you can publish it or just go straight to use DB Builder and then publish it. It's up to you. So in this case, I use DB Builder and it's going to start loaded in. And again, we have three options. So in this case, I'm going to build from scratch. And now you can see it's a different type of layout because now it's a post. It's not a page. So we have a section on the right. We have a header on the top. In this case, I'm going to add a section here. So I'm going to add a new row. And first, I'm going to add some text. So let's add some text right here. Select it. And I'll just go ahead and save it. So here's some text. I can go ahead and edit my post, create that post with images, etc. But in the end, we want to add another section here. So another regular section, another full width row. We're going to add code. We're going to select code and we're going to add our subscription form right here. So let's create that really quickly on job form. So let's go into job form. We're going to go into the beginning. We're going to create a form. Start from scratch. We're going to use a classic form. And we're going to add some basic elements. So for the subscription, all we want is his name and the email, for example. Okay. 
so we're gonna say subscribe subscribe okay and for this we're gonna make it more compact so i'm gonna select this element and i'm gonna go into advanced i'm gonna shrink it and i'm gonna do the same for the email again go to the advanced section shrink it and now it's smaller okay so now we have this compact subscription form and we can compact it even more if we'd like okay but i want to keep it simple so let's go into publish let's go into embed source code grab the source code right here and let's go into the post that we just created and we're going to add the code so let's paste it in and here we go we have our section now you can see there's a lot of space right here but we can go ahead and edit this in Divi. so if i select this i can make it smaller so for example this section i'll make that smaller and same thing goes for the green section and we can see we can make it a little bit more compact go ahead and make it compact here we go let's make it smaller and again like i said we are going to have our post right here if we want to get rid of the background get rid of some um, elements in chat form that is possible to make it more sleek and clean here for the post but you can see right here we have our regular post and then we have a subscribe intent right here so it's super easy and everything is, is being done by job form. So that means that all this data is going to be saved on job form. We have our job form tables where you have all, have all that data there. You can export it from there. You can send it to your CRM from there once you integrate. But it's super nice to have this using the Divi Builder and job form as your form right here. So there you go. That is how you are going to embed your job form forms with Divi Builder on WordPress. So it's super easy to do it. Well, that's a wrap. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification if you want to get notified when new videos come out. And do let us know what you think about this integration with Jotform and Divi. And that's a wrap.